Hello and welcome to the History of Babylon 5. Omega Ordain coming at you with the History of Moriah Cyrus. And here we go. Moriah was a human explorer born in the 22nd century. In the mid 22nd century, her and her husband, Will, both worked for a commercial research outfit. They volunteered for a long duration space flight in cryonic freeze aboard the USS Copernicus, a ship designed to search space for any signs of intelligent life and home in on it. She was reanimated in 2259 when her ship found its way to Babylon 5. She awoke in the station's med lab to find her husband dead. And the fact that the humans have long since colonized space, encountering hundreds of alien races along the way. There, she meets Dr. Stephen Franklin, who tries to help her get acclimated to her new surroundings and come to terms with the death of her husband. He eventually explains that her husband was murdered. This leaves her all the more confused and frightened. She begins to remember dreams that she had while in stasis, terrifying dreams about a monstrous being. She soon realizes that something had come aboard her ship, a soldier of darkness, that murdered her husband and fed off of her. Sensitive to its presence, she helped security chief Michael Garibaldi track it down, where it was killed in a firefight with security personnel. Afterwards, Mariah decides to return to Earth so that she can both grieve for Will and properly heal after all that had happened. On her way out, she kisses Dr. Franklin goodbye, hopeful that one day she might come back. Hey, thank you for watching the History of Babylon 5. Special thanks to The Babylon Project and all contributors for all information you heard today. Very special thanks to my Patreons and to Royalty Free Tube for this fantastic background. Y'all have a good day now. Bye-bye.